take the time to read source code. Whatever programming language you happen to choose that you happen to be working in, I don't care what it is, it could be anything. It could be JavaScript, it could be um, CSS, if you're doing front end stuff, um, it can be, you know, back end server stuff, it can, you know, C sharp, Java, like the ones we talked about before, Visual Basic, um, it could be uh, Clojure, it could be, you know, Ruby, Python, um, you name it, Rust, C, C++, whatever it is, right? Lisp, OCaml, I love OCaml, ZeninML, Haskell, Erlang, Elixir, uh, LFE, List Flavored Erlang, List Flavored Erlang, um, anything that runs on the beat, right? It could be any of these programming languages, Perl, um, whatever it is, go find some source code on it. Open source projects. Get out to GitHub and just find something and just start reading it. Just start reading it. If you know you're going to be working in something every single day, like I don't know. Maybe you're a Java programmer, or maybe you're a, maybe you're. I mean, if you're working in, if you're working, if you're getting in, if you are actually, if you actually have a job working with programming languages like Clojure and Erlang and Elixir and you know, uh, uh, Prolog. Like if you are like you don't, if you're already working in these languages, chances are you know how to do what I'm about to tell you or what I'm telling you right now. But if you're just starting out or if you're experienced and you just haven't dug into these other paradigms and you haven't explored these programming languages that I'm mentioning here, if, if, if any of these languages sound completely brand new to you, like you've never even heard of them, Julia, if you've never heard of any of these programming languages, then you need to pick the programming language that you're going to be working in every single day on your job and go find an open source project to read. You don't have to, a lot of people tell you to like, go, you know, get into an open source project and go contribute. That's great. And the open source communities around these projects definitely want you to come and contribute. They need you at the end of the day. And as long as you have something to contribute, as long as you can help them out in some way, of course, that's a great thing to do. But in the beginning, you might not have the confidence. You might not be ready to submit a pull request. Like, so just read. This this falls under the this falls under that category of just reading. When you read source code, when you pick up an open source project and you start reading source code from everywhere, it doesn't just have to be like Git or whatever. There's source code everywhere. You just got to go look for it. When you find source code to download and just read, you will pick up so many patterns, so many amazing ways to do something. You will pick up snippets. You will understand how to do things so much better than what you taught yourself. Because you're able to look at people, other people's code, other people's comments, you'll be able to see how they structure it, how they think about it, how they document it. And this will be the thing that you can take and apply immediately. 
when I started to do this, <laughs> I, I just, I got to give credit where credit's due here. Like I told you before, like I started the .NET community and I started listening to, as soon as podcasts were like a big thing, even before they were a big thing, and there was just blogs, I would read Scott Hanselman's blog and he's the one who told me. You, He said, you programmers just need to read source, just read source code. Just read it. And that's what I did. And as soon as I started to do that, oh my gosh, I found all this C-sharp code and I would just read it. And I would learn how to do all kinds of stuff. I would just pick it up after I got home from work, you know, spend some time with the family and the kids. and But as soon as they kind of go off and do their thing, right, or the kids go to bed and the wife, you know, starts watching her shows, man, I would just pick up an open source C-sharp project. I would just start reading code and I would just pick up stuff. And the very next morning, I would get in and I would see something I wrote a week ago and I would just throw it out and do it the way I just learned about it because that was better. I would be able to just immediately just start writing code better. And I would submit stuff. And when it came time for my team lead or my manager or whomever to do a code review, Again, this is the thing that will make you seem experienced even though you're not. Yet, we get into these code reviews and sometimes I would stump even my team lead. I would stump my manager because they learned how to write in a certain way but then they just stopped, right? They know how to implement a solution and solve a problem in the programming language. But like I was telling you, there are so many different ways to solve the same problem, whether you're using different programming languages under different paradigms or you're using the same programming language, but you might be using a new version of it. There might be um, newer libraries, there might be little ways of like using older libraries that just weren't um, published in any books. And so you pick up all kinds of <clears throat> amazing ways of solving problems. And I am not exaggerating when I say amazing. And so you take the time, you read source code. Read a lot of source code. Read source code from many languages because this helps you in so many ways. Not just, not just writing better source code. It's, it's, it's these little things that I'm telling you about, like the code reviews, the conversations. Um, when these things happen, these are the things that just like continue to boost you up amongst your peers without you really even doing anything you're just speaking you're just showing you're explaining why and how you came to the solution how you came how, how you wrote that right and a lot of the times it's going to be like, wow, I didn't even know that all I had to do was download this additional library and include it into my project. And all of a sudden I have access to these libraries that do all these wonderful things. And it's not standard in the programming language. It's an additional thing that I just download and, and snap in. Like, it will start to happen, right? The more you learn and the more you are exposing yourself to source code. Again, it will just, you'll download it, it'll be there. And when conversation comes up, when code reviews come down the pipe, it's just boom. Like people will literally, the lid will just literally be blown off. Like they will 
wonder how you came to this. They will be surprised. They will be like, I didn't even know this library existed. And you'll look like you're experienced. You will behave as if you are experienced. This is what the experienced do. This is what we do. And again, you're bubbling yourself up. You're, you're constantly getting to a new level with every conversation, with every code review, with every annual review, whatever it is, right? Every time you open your mouth, every time you get to the whiteboard, every time someone is talking about a technical thing and they just can't think of it, like it's, oh, we need to do this thing, but I can't remember what it's called. And you'll just be like, oh, that's... Because, again, in the background, while everyone else is doing whatever they're doing, you're getting better. You're reading source code. You're learning how to new, do new things. You're learning how to do things you know better. And you're open to that, right? You're picking up things from other programming languages. When you expose yourself to other programming languages, you now know how to structure a problem differently. And now you are thinking differently. And when you go in to your job and you are talking with other people and everybody else can only think in this one way, you are literally out here doing all kinds of learning all kinds of different ways to make this better more efficient faster smaller like everything and these are the things these are the things that will get you to where you want to go people again will pull you aside um, show me how this works show me how this really works I want to know how to, how your team lead or your manager will pull you aside when you do this because you will bring them something you will check something in that blows the lid off their brain they won't know how you even came up with it why it works so well and they will pull you aside and they will ask you, can you please tell me how this is working? And this is what you want.